Let me tell you something right now, guys. Errol Spence Jr. is going to kill Keith one time Thurman. He's going to fucking annihilate him. He's going to end his career. He's going to retire him. I fucking guarantee you. And this is why I'm telling you this is going to happen. Because Keith Thurman is talking about, I want to retire. The retirement life is something that I desire to be. I, he's talking about retiring and he's 29 years old. The thought of retiring from the sport of boxing is in Keith Thurman's mind. And he's 29 years old. He's talking about, I want to retire young. Which means he's probably going to do that and retire at age 31, 32. Meanwhile, you look at someone like Errol Spence Jr. Errol Spence Jr. is talking about, I want to be the unified welterweight champion of the world. I have ambitions to be great. Two totally different mindsets. Errol Spence Jr. is ambitious. He's hungry. He's determined. He's ready. He wants... It's, it's lines only. It's man down. He's young. He's motivated. Errol Spence, on the other hand, I mean, excuse me, Keith Thurman, on the other hand, totally different mindset. Keith Thurman is, ah, uh, I've made a lot of money. It's almost as if Keith Thurman, and this is why I told people, I made a video on my original McGregor channel saying, Keith Thurman is not a hungry fighter anymore, and people got mad at me. I told you. And, and it's funny because I predicted the future. In that, in that, uh, in that, uh, video, I said Keith Thurman is going to retire young because he has the mind. Because I uh, study uh, body language in boxers, like body language. If you compare Keith Thurman back when he was an up-and-coming prospect back in like 2012, 2013, look at how hungry he was. He used to call everybody out. I want to fight this dude. I want to fight that dude. I don't give a fuck. I'll fight anybody. I'm Keith one time Thurman. You got to kill me. You know, I I'm willing to, to lose. I I you got to kill me in the ring. He was determined. He was desperate. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to get anyone. You compare him to this version of Keith Thurman, totally different mindset. He comes across as a guy who's content, as a guy who's content with life. He, he's, he's gotten married. He's talking about having kids. He's talking about loving the retirement life. He's talking about being retired young. So he, when it comes to the mindset, he's not the same guy he was in 2014, 2013. I'm telling you, his mindset is not there anymore. He doesn't have that same hunger that he used to have this is why i made that i made that video a long couple of months ago on my original mcgregor channel saying dude this guy is not motivated keith thurman's not motivated anymore darren right now errol spence jr is in a different place than keith thurman is mentally errol spence jr is hungry he's not content he wants it so i'm telling you right now when these guys fight fight now this is why you know why he's avoiding errol spence jr when these guys fight errol spence Will fucking destroy Keith one time Thurman. He will. He, I'm telling you, he's gonna eat him. I'm sorry to all you Keith Thurman fans. I know there's a lot of fans of him. I know I have a lot of subscribers of mine that are fans of him. But I'm telling you, he's not there anymore when it comes to being ambitious. Errol Spence Jr. will eat this man alive. He's gonna destroy him, and he's probably gonna end his career. He's probably gonna end his career. Uh, because uh, Keith Thurman is talking about being retired, retired. He wants to retire. So once, so I think he's gonna be one of those guys. Once he actually loses, he's gonna retire. It's kind of like uh, Felix Trinidad. When Felix Trinidad was unbeaten, he was f constantly fighting. The minute he lost to Bernard Hopkins, he retired from boxing. He just disappeared. Sometimes fighters are like that. They are only ambitions and only want to win and only want to keep fighting if they're unbeaten. Trinidad is the perfect example of this. When he was unbeaten. He kept fighting and he just wasn't motivated. And then once he lost, it was like he lost all ambition because he only like fought twice after that and then he just retired for good. Uh, Prince Nassim Hamed, another perfect example. When he was undefeated, he was constantly fighting. The minute he lost to Marco Antonio Bar uh, Bar Bar excuse me, Barrera, he retired from boxing. That was it. It was like once he lost that O, um, he was undefeated going into the Marco Antonio fight. Once he lost that O, it was like he lost his ambition. I think Keith Thurman is going to be one of those guys. I, can't, I think Keith Thurman is going to be one of those guys that once he loses, he's just going to retire. That's what I'm telling you guys. Errol Spence Jr. will end Keith Thurman's career. Once he beats him and becomes the unified welterweight champion of the world, Errol, uh, Errol, Keith, Thur Keith Thurman is going to retire. Uh, Errol Spence, it's, gonna, it's, it's strap season and it's man down. And I'm telling you, Errol Spence is the future. I've always been high on Errol Spence Jr. I've always said he was my favorite uh 
fighter right now. And I'm still hiring him. I like his the way he conducts himself, man. He even gave props to Erickson Lubin, you know. You would think because he's, well, he was born in, in Long Island. So technically, he's from where I'm from. He's a New Yorker. But you would think because he's he's been friends with Charlo, the Charlo brothers for years. And he's been, uh, and he's from Texas over there. Well, he's not, well, he was raised in Texas. You would think he'll be 100%. For uh, he would just be rooting and booing all the other and booing all the, his competitors, but he actually gives props. He gave props to Kell Brook when he beat him. He gave props to Erickson Lubinson when he attempted to fight uh, Charlo. So you got to give. That's why I respect about uh, you know I respect that about Earl Spence. You know he's a he's respectful to other fighters. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he's a gentleman. He's a costume and professional, and he's gonna kick the shit out of. Uh, Keith Thurman, I'm telling you, one time is over. It's man down. It's strap season. Peace.